going crazy because I'm out on tour actually. It's going really well to say that we have five days to prepare for a major, major, major tour. Sometimes we have to do alterations literally 30 minutes before they go on stage, so it's just normal. So are you worried? No. No. It's She's normal. What, me this worry? Is normal. Yes. This is normal. At home in Houston, Tina checks in on her design studio and hair salon. She's busy getting things ready for the girls' very first headlining tour and dealing with all the pressures that come with that. This morning I got a phone call from Beyonce. She hadn't had sleep. She was crying. And I just felt so helpless because I'm not there. The she's there and practicing and just frustrated and a lot of pressure is on her. You know, it makes me feel guilty that I'm not there. I'm just trying to get you through this tour and I want you to feel confident and feel good and not be worried about it. You know what I'm saying? While comforting her family as they deal with the stress of it all, Tina knows that there will always be critics. They say you're the stage mother who pushes, pushes, pushes her daughter, dresses her better than anybody else. The typical stage mother who's there all of the time, interfering, meddling. I hear the comment all the time, God, you are nothing like I heard you were. <laughs> you are really a nice person. <laughs> and so I hear this all the time, and it used to hurt me really bad at first, because I was like, what are they saying? The terrible thing about this world is people love to hear negative things. And if you don't have anything negative to say about somebody, you will make it up. I have a problem with people discounting you because you are a family member. <laughs> Group manager Matthew Knowles is Tina's husband and Beyonce's father. He thinks keeping family life and business decisions separate keeps everybody focused. I'm not this dad that just got in the music industry. I've always in my corporate life been driven to success, so I have that same drive in the music industry, and I think it's very obvious when you look at Destiny's Child, they have that same drive. Mm -hmm. People say her dad is tough. Is he yeah, tough? Yeah, he's tough. Is he? Absolutely. And that's not to say that he's mean or cruel. He's just tough. Mm -hmm. He's a tough businessman. And that's okay. Yeah. Let me let you know, man. And they're by far and have been given accolades for being the hardest working artist in the entire music industry today. I think a lot of that has to do with Tina and myself giving those traits to our kids and giving those traits to the group. Come on, make, make one of them 30 minute songs. I'll only take out three hours by yeah, three o'clock. Y'all could be walking out of here with a hit. It's not gonna happen. To write a song and to sing a song, it takes at least five hours. Do you ever think you push them too hard? Do you ever think that? No. No, no not at all. Never? Never. If we were not mentally exhausted, then maybe it would be possible, but y'all been working us since seven o'clock this morning. I agree. But we can try. Amen. We can try, but you really pushing him. I just believe in the truth. No. No, it's not about believe. Just, just, just bye. I'm out of here. You, you right here. Thank you. you. Are, no, I can't take him. I just cannot take him. He thinks we are super women. Thank you. Please do it. Get closer. Get Beyonce closer. and I, we go at it sometimes because sometimes creatively we disagree. Most of the time she's right. Do you think they think you push them too hard? No, I don't. Not know. at all. I think they love what they do. Let's rewind it because, like, right before the other part, I was oh, thinking of something is, else. All I know is, hold on. Do that again. That's the only thing I remember. Parental pressure or not, these young women are driven and on their own, stay late into the night recording another song. I predict it will be a hit. It will be a hit. Watch this thing. We didn't know if it would get to this point. We just wanted them to get a record deal because when your kid wants something from day one, they work so hard to get this, and they, that was their dream, then you just do what you got to do to make it happen. Your challenges are a young group from Houston. Welcome Beyonce, Lativia, Nina, Nikki, Kelly, and Ashley, the hip-hop rapping girls' time. Much of Destiny's Child's motivation comes from knowing exactly how far they have come. Since day one, everything has been a challenge. From my husband leaving his job, 
and me having to support this whole thing because financially it was all on me because my husband left a six-figure job to work full-time to get Destiny's Child a record deal and to rehearse them and to get them ready. So in the beginning, it was you sort of carrying the family. You know, it was really hard because we went through our savings. We had to sell our house. We had to sell our cars. And we just scaled down to... To get this group going. To get this group going. All of my baby. Do you ever feel sometimes that maybe you don't totally understand what it's like being in their shoes? Oh, I understand. You I do. feel so bad for them. Matthew used to always say, listen, you're giving up your privacy. You're going to give up, you know, a big part of your life. So make sure that this is what you want to do because it's a big sacrifice. It's not all glamour and glitz. It is a lot of work. So they knew that. And my whole thing is... That's just part of the, that goes along with the territory. Like all the rumors and all the ugly stuff, that goes along with the good stuff. Congratulations!